Stop pressing. supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei The greatest 2K player in existence And look man, I want to talk about Mashang Wang a little bit in this video man I know some of the news is kind of old but I never talked about it in a video man I just really wanted to break this down for y'all and give you my thoughts about it, man. On, on how, on how bullshit I think it is. And also, we got some new NBA Live 2K22 news. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna talk about that, etc. So if you new, make sure you subscribe. It's free. Hit the like button. It's free. And turn on the notice, my boy. So two months ago, Mike Wang tweeted on reddit okay so a couple months ago mike wang went on reddit okay this is a known site for trash ass niggas facts <laughs> facts are done you know so him not tweeting this and him just going to reddit to get this information like it, it says a lot you know but he titled this contesting shots right for 2K22, I'm going to switch the logic back to using the perimeter defense rating for outside jump shots like it was in 2K20. What rating makes more sense for contesting shots in the paint? Interior defense or block? Right? He said this, right? First off, overall, I want to say, why would you ask people this, right? Um... It, it seems like something like minuscule, like just worthless, right? Because if you don't make the logic in the game where shit's balanced, then what the fuck does it matter? What rating does it matter? What actually activates for what block shots, what contest shots, and what um, blocks perimeter shots, what gives a contest for inside shots? What does it matter? All you gotta do is let us know before the game so we know what to upgrade. What does it matter by saying this? It's like he don't even know about his own game, my nigga. It's like he thinks, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's like, bro, do you think by switching the ratings on these shits that it's gonna like make the gameplay play different? No, like what? Like, <laughs> like I don't understand. Like, what's the point in asking this shit? Like, I do want him to ask a bunch of shit to the community, but like, real shit. How, how like, contact dunks, how much do you want contact dunks to, you know, the frequency of that? Ronin the fucking video, nigga. <laughs> Green lights, fucking, um, contested shots, um, dribble moves, um, dribble glitch, steal all that type of shit like like real questions not just dumb shit like but i mean maybe there's some hope because the shot contest in 2k20 was better than um 2k21 both of them hoes i ain't gonna hold you so mega pooh bear says interior block should only add to the contest inside and outside if you jump okay um, and Wheelbot then says it should not be so black and white. Perimeter defense should still affect shots the closer you are to the basket. But it should also have less of an impact. The same thing should apply to the interior defense, but in reverse. Some skills defending either the perimeter or interior carry over so it would make sense. And then Baluba says, yeah, that's how it will work. Okay, look, let me explain this very crisp and clear and y'all need to get on twitter mobilize follow a young nigga on twitter z swan tz baby and look y'all need to mobilize tweet at these niggas whenever you feel like it support my tweets but look it don't matter what supports what right 
all that matters is you tell us before we make our builds or you're low-key finessing us my nigga you know it's like they don't give us details about what affects what until like in the middle of the game or like they don't tell us and youtubers have to find it out right you know all they have to do is really tell us and not give us some automated answer <laughs> but the thing is they don't know themselves like these 2k gameplay developers are, are fucking annoying man y'all need to put pressure on these niggas to figure out how their game actually works so they can relate to us so we stop wasting as much money my nigga like tell us like, like for instance tell us if you don't want shots in your face upgrade this if you want to lock down dribble gods or point guards hiding behind screens upgrade this if you want to go through screens and um get a lot of contact dunks upgrade this tell us if strength will actually matter so we don't waste our time on it tell us about the vertical you know let us know like like they don't be letting us know but the thing is it's a genjutsu and then some of the things they know they just don't tell us so people can make build mistakes and shit like that and then they try to switch it in like the middle of the game and shit bro just let us know let us know my nigga it ain't no oh you should have upgraded this you know like remember on next and they said y'all didn't upgrade your interior defense head ass like shut your goofy ass up nigga contact dunks was still fucking stupid and it ain't the builder nigga it's the fucking gameplay balancing and every year there there's been a there's been a fucking 99 contact dunk but it was the contact dunk wasn't like those nigga <laughs> fuck you talking about like what do you mean every year there's always been a a 99.3 the 99 there's always been a 99 something so it, it's not the builder or or the limitations man like shits existed before but there was better gameplay balancing it's not the ratings or the builder or the badges it's the gameplay balancing when someone meets you and plays you right and correctly that shit shouldn't happen it shouldn't go in it's that simple that's how it should work that's how it makes the most fun and shit like that so look <clears throat> mike wayne tweeted a while ago man do you want shot aiming in nba 2k22 look at these votes all right so if this dickhead adds it back he's fucking stupid right like he, he's just not listening to people like you know and he, he even he even did it on reddit look no people are voting no right like ass nigga shit so if he put this bitch back in he he's a fucking stupid developer bro okay niggas tell him that shit too overpowered it's too easy niggas is cheating exploiting the game take it out nigga it ain't hard bro but anywho man apparently a nba live 22 is coming out or nba live 2 23 is coming out man they're they're looking to 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 put out a game for the next generation consoles so apparently they've been taking a break and they not only working on their little mobile game they're making a game for the next generation console and look I don't know what's wrong with these dickheads, man. I desperately want live to make a decent, good game so everyone can play it and it gives 2K some competition, but they gotta make the gameplay good. Like, niggas don't get it. Like, do y'all think they know that the gameplay matters the most, bro? I, I really think they think like some features and all this shit, that shit don't matter, bro. It's the fucking gameplay. And then giving the niggas the, a reason. Oh, shit. Mo most of the difference. Like, it's got to have some type of skill gap and fun gap, man. It can't just be little clunky, weird bullshit. I don't know why they don't just... Like, everyone sees t them begging 2K. Everyone sees fans of 2K begging for old gameplay. Why don't they just replicate that? Why don't they replicate... A 2k 15 replicate a 2k 16 17 18 19 you know some shit like that like 
then they could compete. It's the gameplay, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Like, bro, I've seen other games replicate, and that shit was hella years ago. So you telling me y'all niggas can't replicate it now? Like, y'all aren't no small title shit. Like, y'all can do that shit, right? They can't they? Y'all let me know. I'm not I'm not with the like the geek shit. Like I, I don't really know. But can't they do that? Like of course don't make it the same exact. But like for instance, I just started playing Split Gate Gate last night. That shit is basically Halo, my nigga. It's basically Halo. But with portals. Like why can't they just make the gameplay like that and then do all that other extra shit that they want to do? Just make the gameplay and niggas, bro, niggas is tired of 2K, all the finessing. All that shit, and if you make it free to play, niggas gonna be on that shit going crazy. Then you know you get that juice, you start feeding niggas. Why don't they just do that? Like, I, I, am I brilliant? And then 2K's gonna have to step it up. They gonna have to start to answer us. And then we got these two niggas in competition, so we ain't just gonna be getting finessed. Getting treated like shit. Cause they know niggas is always gonna play basketball, bro. Because niggas is OD fans of basketball, the athletes, and all that other bullshit. But anywho, man, they, they had some article a few days ago. They said um, that basically the sports giant is working on next generation basketball games that could revive EA, EA's fortune. And if y'all don't remember, man, back in the day, EA used to be way more popular than uh, 2K, man. Like, I was on that hoe. I've been playing since the first... 2k man we got some next generation hd basketball projects that we have been talking about and designing and working you know this is from the general manager high definition is shorthand for consoles meaning next gen platform like the xbox series x or the ps5 rather than so they working on the, a new game uh, i'm excited for that because i want the competition to 2k but look listen if the shit ass, the shit ass, I'm gonna tell you the shit ass. Every live is unplayable. The shits are like pure garbage. I don't care what weird niggas is saying, like saying, oh, this is fun. This is this, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Oh, you're used to 2K. No, look, dickhead. The shit ass. Compare it like the fun level to a 2K. You gonna play live all year? No, you're not. Like, 2K is more of a game that you'll play all year. Not no fucking live. That shit is ass. Like, play that bitch for a week max. Like, ain't nobody getting back on that hoe over and over again unless, like, you're, like, some old head nigga and you just suck at 2K. <laughs> like, 10 win percent type shit. So you on that live shit. But other than that, the shit ass. And they gotta know it's ass. So they're not listening to delusional people's feedback that don't even play the game all year, you know? Like, they got to know this shit ass to drastically change everything instead of trying to gloss it up and just make the gameplay, like, slight differences. So, apparently, they're trying to double their sports audience. So, I mean, you know, they, they, they got the college football. They got the Madden, the FIFA, the ENHL. And I guess they're going to tap into the new basketball shit and try to really captivate. So... Hey man, let let's hope they can make some sh some fun shit. I don't even know why they should they calling it next gen, my nigga. The shit is current gen. <laughs> and this little picture right here, man, they basically said that a while ago. This 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 picture, this little statement came out a while ago. That their sights were were set on next generation of players and platforms. So we're taking time to get right for our players. We promise to check back in regularly with updates. Until then, we'll be on the grind. Well, they haven't been doing that. So, I guess stay on the grind, my nigga. You know, hopefully we get a good, you know, game, bro. With this little bullshit. You know, they even tweeted this out on IGN. NBA Live might be dormant, but EA is reportedly working on basketball games for next generation consoles. You feel me? So, you know, they tweeting shit, niggas laughing. <laughs> niggas like, shut your goofy ass up, nigga, your shit. But yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Like the video, turn on post notifications. Go watch my last video. It is absolutely hilarious. And yeah, tune in the stream tonight. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything.
everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.